<sighs> you guys are probably wondering, like, like squad, squad, what are you in? Are you in, you in toy hall? Are you in camper, man? This is a semi. Check this out. This is a CSM semi. And what we have to do today is haul a crazy heavy load uh, that's just getting ready and it's just getting finalized. And th they're like, hey, dude, go take a nap. It's going to take us like an hour to load this thing up. So feel free to go take a nap and we'll have it ready for you. So I take a nap on the side of the road and then I go pick up that load over there. But this is a Kenworth T600 mega sleeper basically a cab with a house in the back dude this thing is huge as far as like looks i'm like 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 when you look at it it's not the most attractive truck like 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 honestly personal preference i like just a regular cab so like basically cut off right here and then just a triple axle it just looks like a massive aggressive semi you know that can all like you know a crazy amount of weight this sleeper it's cool it's different but it doesn't like doesn't hit me in the sweet spot you know but it's cool and it's different and I like that because TSM modding has different views back here and you literally have a you literally have a oven fridge uh, a stove a sink this is basically like a mini camper in here and then a, I'm guessing oh okay so here's the sink view you can literally drive the truck while you have the sink view <laughs> this is probably not illegal I don't know that I guess that's technically me right there and then you have the shower. I don't know where the bed is, though. Like, that's the only thing. There might be a door back here that opens up the bed. That's the only thing. I have no idea where the bed is. Like, where you actually... Or maybe maybe behind the seats, there's a fold-down bed. Because it looks like there's a little alleyway there. But we're going to get hauling today. Those guys are probably ready for me. Turn off my hazards. I just left the truck running the AC going. Cause it's kind of it's kind of hot out. So I was like, I don't want to be sweating when I'm sleeping. Otherwise, I'll stink up the cab or something. So... We got the Kenworth here. You can go a bunch of different colors. Or pretty much like black, orange. Black, orange, and a couple other colors. Not not a bunch of different colors. But I ended up going orange with this. Looks pretty cool. It's got some... Uh, it's got some, <laughs> some interesting mud flaps. Check out those mud flaps on the back. Dude, the girls. I should, dude, I should get those uh, I should get those for my F-250. My mama would probably not like that. But that'd be pretty sick. <laughs> it's I don't know it's kind of like the trucker thing I feel like the trucker dude that has those type of mode flaps but no it looks honestly I like it a lot of it's UDIM so it's the I guess I don't I don't really know what UDIM is besides it looks a heck of a lot better the colors look a lot better uh, the light bounces off them a lot better and it looks nice when light gets on the colors so and it, even the interior looks amazing on this truck it's going to get released. Enough about the truck. We better get hauling. These guys are going to get mad at me. We have to go. Okay, we have to haul this load. And I'll show you guys the load. We're right here. And it's going to be like a 10 hour, 8, eight to 10 hour drive all the way to this farm. We got to deliver it there. But it's almost night. So it's nice to have a sleeper because we're going to have to sleep halfway. Because, dude, once it hits night, I'm out like a rock, dude. It is, uh, I don't know, I just pass out. And so I can't, I, that's, that's kind of risky. I shouldn't be driving through the night. So I should probably sleep right before night, get a couple hours of sleep, and then and then I can drive through night. So before we hook up to the load, what we have here is we have a John Deere 9570 RT. This is a half a million dollar machine. And on top of that, I'm hauling a grain cart, a Kenzie 1050 bushel grain cart. Now, this is kind of how it went down. Like, Basically, they were going to have a hauling company haul two of these separately. And then I came in and I negotiated and I was like, hey, I can haul both of these for you guys if you guys set it up this way with this type with this type of trailer. And so they were going to pay $2,000 a piece to haul them individually. So four grand total. I was like, hey, I'll haul it one load for $3,000 total. Basically, it gave me an extra $1,000 per load and it saved them an extra $1,000. Worked out really well. And so... What I did is we basically just backed the Kinsey up, kept going over these tires, and then we laid the frame of the Kinsey. Ken Kinsey, Kenzie. I probably always say it wrong. Kinsey. Kinsey. Not Kenzie. Kinsey. Kinsey, yeah. Yeah. So I laid the frame just on here, and then we have this dolly in the back, which kind of pivots with it. It doesn't work. The It, it, it works. It works. And this is fairly stable, but it, like the frame will sometimes catch on the green cart. It keeps the tires off the ground. I mean, it, it seems to be working. It, seem, it seems like it'll work. So, we're going to hook up to this. 
And then we got a big hole ahead of us. Probably stop by some Mickey Days or some Wendy's, you know, pick that stuff up. Probably get some diesel along the way. Talk to some of my buddies. Jim, haven't seen in a long time. But that's a plan for today. I'm going to get in here. Now, I'm going to probably try to do a lot of... I can... I'm probably going to try to do a lot of third person. This is this is third person, in case you guys don't know. It looks kind of cool. I like it. Um, but the thing is with... Okay, well, first of all, we should probably check their load. I should probably check everything to make sure everything's good before we go. I kind of did go over it. Uh, now, this... Is it legal? I mean, pretty much if you have oversized load, you can haul about just about anything, it seems like, these days. So, uh, I'm going to say it's legal. It's probably not. A lot of semi guys that actually truck in real life are going to be like, dude, that's that's totally not legal how you have it set up. Um, and I don't know much about trucking. Feel free to like be like, squad, you're an idiot. How did you not know this or something? Feel free. Just let me know. Like, just teach me right. Teach me right in the comment section. Like, like what's the right way to do something before you like criticize like really badly. You can criticize me, but then but then tell me how it should be done, I guess. But no, I love mud flaps on any truck. I think if you put mud flaps on a pickup truck, regular pickup truck, it just looks a ton better. Semi, that's, I don't know, they don't look that, like, that good on a semi. But pickup truck, you have a regular F-150, you toss mud flaps on there. And mud flaps just make it look more, more beefier, or manlier. Even if you don't go mud and toss some of those babies on there, they'll still look pretty nice. I don't know. I, like, I can't stand trucks that don't have mud flaps. Unless, unless you got like a, you know, like a crazy custom, like, you know, crazy wide tired, all like blacked out, maybe lifted truck. I understand not putting mud, mud flaps on like something like that. But other than that, I think mud flaps make a, make a stock truck just look a lot better. So I forgot to use my blinker there. A little late on the blinker. We're going to get going. This is going to be a two lane road all the way over there. But then we're going to hit the interstate and the interstate's going to be a little rougher. There's traffic on the interstate, which is pretty cool. This map is pine wood farms i think it's a heck of a map right now it's seven seven I, I to be honest i'm not good with army time at all and we're gonna so i'm guessing right at sundown we'll get to the interstate and then right before i hit the interstate i'll probably sleep for a couple hours and then we'll hit the road on the interstate and get there get there five hours after i start on the interstate so it's gonna be like a like i said like an eight to ten hour Eight to ten hour trip, especially if I stop, then it's pushing eleven hours. We should be, we should be good on time. I got to make it there in twelve hours. That's fine. It get, I always leave an hour comfort room in case we have some breakdown or just something bad. So that's kind of how I like to roll. But it's pretty much trucking fifty-five mile an hour speed limit on this road. Once we hit the interstate, we can do sixty-five mile an hour though. And that'll that'll be real nice. Now here's first person. Windows windows are tinted. I don't really like how much they're tinted. I feel like they're tinted just a tad too much and it's kind of tough to see out of. That's my personal opinion, but maybe it's nice when the sun's shining right at you or like somebody's trying to look in and you don't want them to see your face. And then here's, can you, oh, you can drive like this. <laughs> Dude, this is so sketchy. Look, this is, this is kind of cool though. You can drive from this view. I'm turning left and right. I've done some like testing and I, see that window wiper? As long as I keep the window wiper, see that black window wiper, as long as I keep that window wiper down the two middle center lines, I'm good. That means I'm straight on the road. Like I did a lot of testing before the video just to know that I'm straight on the road. Yep, see, I'm on the road perfectly. Kind of neat. So I'll, uh, I'll see you guys once we get to the interstate. It's probably gonna be in two hours or so. And we're just arriving. I see those cars, that's the interstate. The town's on the other side of the interstate. I'm going to pull off to the side of the road and we're just going to park it for a couple hours. I'm going to get my rest then we're going to hit the interstate probably at 2, 3 a.m. Most likely. That truck looks nice, dude. Look at that. With the lighting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that looks sweet. And the crazy load we got on our teal. Let me check the load before I go to bed, and I gotta check it when I wake up in the morning, make sure nobody, the little kids, didn't screw with me on, you know, unhook some of the trailers, really screw up my load. So, looks good on this side. Man, something about the lighting right now looks pretty cool. What's that blurred? Oversized load, it's like blurred out. There we go. Okay, it's looking good. I'm gonna get to bed. 
I guess nap, I guess, just for a little bit. We'll just stay right here. I don't know where the bed is. I gotta figure that out. Gotta figure out where that bed is. So, I'll see you guys in probably a couple hours. <sighs> what time is it? Sun's up. We overslept. We overslept. It's six in the morning. Oh shoot, I was supposed to get up at like two or three. My alarm didn't even go off. We overslept, man. Well, we heck, we use a lot of diesel. I want to keep the truck running, but man, we overslept and people are already at it this morning. Oh, dude. So we were supposed to... Oh my gosh, this is going to throw off a lot of time. This is going to throw them off. They are going to be mad. There's no way I'm going to... That means I'd have to get there in like an hour to make it. And there's no way. We still got a four hour drive left. Four or five hour drive left. Ah, oh, there's no way we're making it. Oh my gosh, I better call him up and tell him we're going to be a little late. So we're going to get on the move and we're going to get going because we need to get there quick as soon, as soon as possible. They were okay with it. They weren't that mad. Uh, I'm probably not going to get any like bonus or tip from them for delivering it. But as soon as these cars pass, we'll head out on the interstate and I'm going to, I'm going to try to stop at a Wendy's or like a gas station and just pick up some type of breakfast. You always got to have food in your stomach, especially when you wake up. So I'm going to. I don't know where one is though, that's the thing, like I basically gotta drive slow along the interstate and look for like gas stations, and then if I see one, just jump on that exit and take that exit. You guys know how it is, you're like, you're like always with your family in your car and you're like, should we take this exit, should we take this exit? Is there gonna be KFC on this exit? And then you just like, last second, you just gotta make a choice, that's how this is gonna be. So, I'm gonna take a left, no car. There is a car, so we swing in the right lane because it looks like it's in the left lane. We're on Interstate 5, California. There we go, get up to speed because that car's coming. Is that copper? That might be a copper. Uh, we should be good. <laughs> this is really cool with all the cars, dude. I, I, I really enjoy this. This is like American Truck is similar. Okay, do we see any, any, KF, uh, any, any fast food restaurants? No. Okay, so I'm not going to take that exit. We'll keep going down the road. I want to stay at least 55 mile an hour, though. What about here? Holy crap, this is a pretty cool town. There's like a tractor supply over there. I'm not really seeing any food. A lot of housing, a lot of industrial. Do we take this exit? San Diego? Wait, looks like there's gas stations over there. Okay, gas station food it is. We're heading to the gas station. We don't really need diesel, so we should be fine, but heck, I'm hungry. I want some food. Pilot or BP? Uh, It seems like Pilot ha has an easier entrance. We're going to Pilot. I guess, you know what would be the really... Oh my gosh, we're stuck on something. It's it's the, it's the trailer. It's, uh, CSM, or Chop Shop Modding warn me that uh this truck has some c conflicts with it so i kind of knew of this ahead of time but you know what would be the real bad move or mean mean move to make is to pull into pilot's parking lot because it's easy to pull into and then walk to bp to get some food <laughs> that would be that'd be that'd be, that'd be kind of unethical maybe not unethical but that'd be a little mean a little mean um but we got everything here I'm going to go grab some food. Ooh, they got ice cream or hot dogs. Barbecue chicken or burger? I think I'm going to have to go with a burger. Yeah, let's go with a burger. Burger and an ice cream cone. Or salad bar. Probably go with a healthier menu. Okay, we're going to go salad bar. Salad bar and a hamburger. Regular hamburger. Finish the hamburger. Walking out with my ice cream cone. We got to make sure this load is good. I kind of hit some bumps. Along here, there's some collisions that just happen along here and I got to be careful of them right now the grain cart's a little off centered so I'm gonna have to readjust that here and then we'll hit the road there we go we're ready to rock and roll they actually have a really nice like turning around area just for semis works really good so I'm gonna stay on the outer edge here we're gonna try to make this turn without hitting those concrete like pillars right there nice smooth and then uh okay those are railroad tracks so it looks like I'm gonna yeah, so I'll pull straight out of here. We'll take a left, hop back on the interstate, and this is probably going to be two hours yet. Two, three hours yet until we get there. It's going to be a ways. i got to be careful because I think the trailer's going to get caught like on this on this cement 
go, like heading onto the road. Okay, so far we're good. Wow. It'll probably get caught here. Maybe not though. Wow, everything's smooth so far. It'll get caught right here. Okay, never mind. Doing good. Oh, those are my tire marks from when I went into the grass. Okay. Oh, shoot. There it got caught. Okay, so we're going to swing wide to head on to Interstate 5 freeway. Okay, stay tight to that. There we go. Don't take out any signs. That, that grain cart is... Oh, my gosh. That thing's just all over the place. We may have to adjust that grain cart before we get on the interstate. It's kind of all over. I'm going to turn on my hazards. Yeah, we got to adjust that. Okay, we are ready to hit the road. <laughs> oh, there's a couple cars on there, actually. That's kind of neat. Okay, we're gonna get the speed quick. Oh, you can, there we go. Merge over. Perfect. Nice. We're good. That Kinsey's kind of bouncing a little bit, but we're good. I probably shouldn't pass this car. It's kind of neat, like right along tra traffic right now. It's kind of cool. It's kind of glitching out a little bit. But it's most likely gonna be, like, like I said, another two, three hours till we get there. So I'll see you guys once we get close. Okay, we're here. I'm just pulling off the interstate. I got to swing wide here. That is the farm we have to deliver it to. Stay wide. How's the semi doing back there? We're going to cut across that grass a little bit. And there we go. It's going to be our first left or maybe our second. Oh, there's a train. Shoot. Uh, okay, it's not that long a train. We should be good. But we're here. We made it. But now the, the I guess one of the toughest tasks is going to be unloading this grain cart because I'm the one that has to do it. The truck driver has to do it. So we're going to slowly scooch across these tracks, hoping that this trailer doesn't get caught here. Okay, first driveway didn't seem like it'd work because I was going to take down those pink trees. I didn't want to do that. So this one should work a little better. Now, I apologize to anybody who like has a lot of knowledge in trucking or even is a trucker because I don't have that good of like terminology for like semi trucking. Uh, I, I really don't. I wish I did. I wish I did a lot more. I, I, I pretty much know the basics. That's it. So for now, we're going to pull in right here, drop this load off, and then I got to drive the 9RT off of this with the Kinsey grain cart attached. And it's going to be tough. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a tough time. So here we go. I'm going to drop the... Got to figure out what to drop. Yes. There we go. I'm just going to... Oh, wait. Nope. That wasn't it. There we go. Perfect. So I'm going to pull this ahead with the semi. Just park it right there. Could probably shut the semi off. And then now what I got to do is I got to take this. Obviously, 9RT is easy to pull off. You just pull forward. But the grain cart, I have to keep both of these wheels, the other side wheel on there. And I have to make that wheel come in contact with this and just slowly pull it on top of this and then just drive it across this wheel and then this, this wheel, and then this like support beam here. And then eventually it'll drive off smoothly. It's going to be kind of a challenge. We'll see what happens. I'm going to fire her up. Let her warm up just for, just for a little bit. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to slowly pull up until that wheel comes in contact. The other one might be in contact. Oh. Okay, we're just doing burn out on the trailer. Don't want to do that. Okay, I got it pulled up there. And we slowly have to drive forward. You'll watch these rear wheels go. I got to keep both of them on there. Oh, this is going to be kind of a mess. Okay. There we go. Now drive her down. Perfect. Now just drive the green cart off. Those wheels are just barely on there. Nice. He's here. Safe delivery. Look at that. Would you look at that? Uh, should I just park it in the front yard? Since they're not here, I guess maybe that's that's kind of disrespectful. For now, we'll just uh, we'll just put her on the side here. I could probably put her in the shed back there. I, that wouldn't be bad. I don't want to just go around in their sheds and put stuff there. For now, the 9570 can just stay right there. I got to hook up to this trailer and take the trailer back um, to basically to pick up my next load. But this is gonna be it, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Seriously, if, if, if you have any, like, if you want to drop any knowledge so I can kind of learn a little about semi-driving and stuff or something I did wrong, feel free to drop that in the comment section. So, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. See you guys.